hey Derek, congratulations on the new contract. Yes. Um, and congratulations on the start of the offseason program. I was just curious, now that you've been paid, I know you've always had kind of a leadership role, but how do you view that as maybe the investment to kind of step up even more? Does that give you more uh, clarity on your role and the way the franchise views you? Um, you know, I, I thought I've been a leader and, um, you know, I definitely let my opinion be heard when it needs to be heard, um, you know. But like I said, I mean, you know, we still got the, the the vets that I had coming in. I mean, Shaq's still our captain. He's going to be our captain. And, um, you know, obviously in our room, you know, I feel like I'm the leader of our room. So when we get ready to, you know, discuss things and go from there, it allows me to be able to obviously voice my opinion throughout the whole defense. But, you know, definitely with uh, Shaq, new number 54, move, uh, moving back over, uh, leading the way for the defense, that's for sure. How how big is it that he is coming back from that injury for that defense? Uh, man, it's awesome, um, especially to have that guy behind you, allow you to be able to play a little more free up front, and uh, you know he's got your back, which, whichever way it goes. We'll go uh, Joe Person followed by Scott Fowler. Derek, congrats, man. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for doing this. I uh, wanted to ask you, you have been around for a while and seen a lot of uh, the, the first round picks who came before you uh, get traded. And uh, what sort of message did, did this send that, that they locked you up? Uh, yeah, you know, I lost Brian and Christian, you know, former teammates close with them. And, uh, you know, they, they, it happened. Um, you know, it is what it is at this point. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, you know, hold my place here and, you know, just keep working. Did did you feel like all along, you know, that confident that this would happen? Or when you saw the deal with, with Derek, or excuse me, with Brian, did, did you get, a you know, a little bit uh, concerned at all? Um. You know, I didn't really know what was going on in the off season. Um, kind of just stayed away from it. You know, let my agent handle it, and um, I spent you know the off season doing what I normally do is being a dad and, and training. So I mean, you know, when the opportunity came about and the contracts t contract talk started, then um, you know I was excited, and uh, you know it got done, and you know we're able to still be here. Hi, Derek. Congrats, Scott Fowler, Charlotte Observer. Um, Two things. One is a traditional question for anyone who just signed a big contract, but uh, do you have any splurge purchases that you were making? Um, I think we're getting a pool in the backyard. No, I think we decided that, so uh, <laughs> I think that's what it's going to be bought next. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Secondly, I just wondered your uh, first impressions of Dave Canales now that you've been around him for a while I'd like you to describe him to people who maybe haven't been around him so much yet uh yeah man coach Canales is a great guy um you know even from the Monday when we got back in and you know we started back up you know he said the he said the goal for us is moving forward you know it's just let's get back to the basics and let's just play ball um and let's do it that way and let's do it the right way what do you think are realistic? You speak of goals. What, what do you think is realistic for these Panthers this season? Uh, I guess we'll have to just wait till February to find out and be honest. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go. David Newen followed by Mike K. Hey, Derek, congratulations. Uh, what does it mean? I know continuity was, was big for a lot of people and having uh, Israel uh, back as your defensive coordinator. What does that mean, even though you guys have a lot of different parts now? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, getting Coach E back was a, uh, you know, a huge thing for me. Um, also, you know, having Todd Watch back as our D-line coach. It's the first time in my career I've had the same D-line coach two years in a row. So, I mean, just being able to have familiarity around the building and, you know, just be able to stay in the system and know the system and just keep going within the system, you know, I think that's been awesome leading into the offseason knowing. And have you been in contact with, with Brian and did he give you any messages? I know on, on social media – he kind of gave you applause for, for getting the deal and everything. So what is what was his message to you? Yeah, man, uh, definitely still talk to Brian. Um, you know, he's, uh, it'll be, he'll be a lifelong brother for me. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, congratulated each other. Um, you know, even, you know, when he was traded and he signed his big deal, man, you know, I was we were one of the first ones to call him. And, uh, you know, it was an exciting moment, just like they were excited for me.
And lastly, um, when you, you look at this defense, I, I think Mike touched on a little bit, but there's a lot of new pieces, but it, it seems like in some ways, minus Brian, you guys could be stronger. Is that How do you look at it right now, the way, the way this defense is shaped up? Um, you know, it's, it's no way to tell until you get out on the grass and we get to camp, um, and then we'll be able to see how it does, how, or how everyone does. So, I mean, I think it's a great expectation, and, you know, it sounds exciting right now, but I'll – you know, I don't want to put anything out there until we get ready to hit the grass come September. I appreciate it. Congrats again. Thank you. Hey, Derek, I know you just kind of touched on it, but with Todd returning, um, what's the foundation there for that relationship where I know last year he kind of challenged you a bit and you kind of challenged him back? Um, you know, you, you coming back now for the offseason program, what's the goal uh, to kind of enhance the product from last year? Uh, you know, I definitely think that, you know, OTAs is the time for it. You know, lay the foundation. I mean, we work hard. He's he's going to demand our hard work every single day. And, uh, you know, that's just become the nat the, the nature of the beast. And, um, you know, every single day we go out to practice, you know, he's going to be, uh, we we'll call it the county fair. So he's got a bunch of drills and stuff for us. And, uh, but when we get ready to uh, go through the season, man, you know, he's a guy that really hones in on, you know, getting the basics down and, you know, allowing us to play freely, but also, you know, taking care of us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we go Jason Brown, followed by Joe Person. Hey, Derek, good to see you again, and thank you for the time today. You touched on what the big purchases are going to be. You touched on a, a lot of things with uh, just the familiarity with coaching staff on the defensive side. For you signing a long-term deal here in, in Charlotte, I mean, I'm curious, what is it about this community and this city that – you enjoy so much and made it worthwhile to say, yeah, I want to stay with this team and stay in this community because you're obviously very comfortable here. Yeah. Um, I tell people all the time, man, we really love it. Um, you know, I got a, my, my oldest is about a year to go to kindergarten. So I'm feeling older, but, uh, you know, a little job security, you know, getting him started in school. That's one of the biggest thing that we had on our mind. Um, it's been, it, the community has been great to us since the day we got here, um, coming in the middle of COVID and, you know, not really knowing anybody besides the people that live in my neighborhood. I mean, that was a challenge, but I mean, it, it was it was an awesome one. Um, I think in the long run, and we've just kind of found home here. Derek, you've been an ascending player for for your first four years, um, and and you have said that the sack anybody who looks just at sacks doesn't understand the impact and all that. Do you think you can be a guy, though, that, that ups your sack game even more, or is it just tough to do kind of scheme-wise? Um, you know, I think it just really de depends on how the games go, man. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you, you only get so many opportunities. So, I mean, I think just, you know, it's a focus of mine 100%. I mean, just being a dominant player and being able to write games is, is, is a focus of mine. But, I mean, going into the season, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to abort the defense in order to, you know, try and go get mine. I'm just going to play within the system. Also, the the defensive front looks a lot different, uh, you know, now than it did even six weeks ago or so. What do you think of the additions that, that have come on and uh, how good that unit can be? Uh, you know, I think specifically speaking about the, the guys up front, um, you know, we got – our room, we've added uh, Aishan, still got LB, um, Thurman, Shy. So, I mean, I think we, we've had a pretty solid core in our room. And uh, same guys back, really, and adding Aishan. Um, and I think as a whole D-line, I mean, I think, you know, we've got some talent on the edges. So, I mean, I'm excited to see how it all kind of plays out. Do you know Clowney at all? And kind of what was your reaction when he signed? Yeah, I know he's a South Carolina guy. Uh, we never crossed paths before this, but, uh, you know, we have conversations. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, he's a good guy, and I think he'll help this defense. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go David Newey. Yeah, I, I just kind of asked my last my question, but uh, as far as your conversation with Clowney, well, what was kind of his message to you at and, and, uh, the time you talked? Um, you know, kind of, you know, the message is the same. Um, you know, he's, he's not coming here, you know, for just a homecoming. Uh, he wants to be able to come in here and, you know, we turn this thing around. And how important, I know it was important to the, the team to get him um, 
you're in free agency. From your perspective, how important was it to, to sign him and have that piece, especially with Brian Cook? Yeah, um, you know, we we definitely needed something um, when because Brian, you know, when Brian got traded, you know, he, I obviously I'm not upstairs, so I kind of just go with the flow. So I mean, I knew that they were going to try to get somebody good in here, and they were able to sign him. So I'm excited. And, and Brian, did that? Like, Joe, can I ask about it, about being worried about that? But I mean, as far as not having that presence, the guy that wanted to be here long term, and Brian, did, did that when? Did that make you feel like maybe this team wasn't committed or, or did it feel like they just had to go in another direction? Um, you know, that, I'm just not going to answer that one. That's <laughs> Okay, I got you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, uh, we can finish up with Joe Person. Derek, Mike asked you about uh, off-season program starting. What's the energy been like? I mean, another another kind of coaching change, even even though defense uh, comes back intact. Yeah, um, we got the defense defense staff pretty much the same. We got you know our staff pretty much around the building still the same. Um, you know, a, a lot of guys returning and new guys, new faces. Uh, I think everybody's excitement is the same, man. We got in here, you know, guys got right to it. Um, we got in here Monday morning, had a meeting with coach, and then. Uh, Straight to lift, straight to meetings, and uh, you know we got right back in the flow of things, which is great. And uh, any bells and whistles on that backyard pool? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of that's kind of the uh, gotta talk, gotta talk to the wife about that one. So we'll see. Thanks.